we're at the University of Wollongong Blast Simulator and we've just witnessed our composite panels, Protectiflex panels, subjected to a 200 kilopascal load. Firing, three, two, one. We subjected them to blast pressures that, which are equivalent to explosion of a 500 kilogram TNT explosive device detonated from about 20, 25 meters. The results were very promising. All three panels performed very well, survived. We had some fantastic results. We had no cracking on the protective flex face and on the concrete face, which it sits on, some minor cracking, less than half a mil. And we had something like 20 millimeters deflection of the panel. So it stood up to it very well, no delamination. So we couldn't break it, even hitting it with 40 tons of blast load. We've been able to develop Protective Flex as a pumped material. It's in line with modern building practices. You have to be able to pump the material to get to a 10-storey building or wherever you want to do. So what it means is that you can form our Protective Flex facing or lining against an existing wall so that the two together act as one body, one material. So you're using the concrete to give it the strength in a building and you're using the Protective Flex to give it that blast resistance. So you have a structural unit which is effectively blast-proof and bulletproof. I think in the market it's very hard to find a product that is lightweight and can resist against blast and ballistic loads, which are very difficult. We've proved it to UL10, which is the highest standard of ballistic protection. When a product can resist blast and ballistics, applications are limitless. In a petrochem plant, or defence with storage of ordnance, the lining of tunnels, IT networks, hubs, electricity transmission. There's loads of applications in industry, not just defence. The project team comprised of Western Sydney Uni, who did all the material testing. University of Wollongong did the blast testing. Stone Security Engineering in the US did all the modelling, numerical modelling. Pair Formation was our ready mix plant, and of course, tire stewardship. Without TSA's funding support, this would have taken a lot longer to actually develop. Now I'm sure they're quite as excited as we are about it.